Let's review for just a moment the operation of the NMOS transistor in each of the three different regions of its, of its operation. First of all, the transistor is said to be cut off until the gate voltage is great enough to establish a channel. Now, by great enough, it means that the gate voltage is greater than the threshold voltage V sub T. Once VGS exceeds that threshold voltage, a channel has been established, and there's an overdrive voltage, which is equal to VGS minus VT. Under those circumstances, the transistor is in either the triode region or the saturation region. When VDS is less than the overdrive voltage, the transistor is said to be in the triode region. A channel exists from the source to the drain, but is not yet pinched off. In the triode region, the current um, I sub D can be calculated from either of these two equivalent formulas. As VDS continues to increase to the point that it equals or is greater than the overdrive voltage, the channel then pinches off at the drain end, and the transistor is said to be in the saturation region. Under these circumstances, at least to a first order approximation, the current through the transistor can be calculated using either of these two formulas. We've seen that that constant or that uh, this I sub D, which in these formulas is independent of VDS, we've seen that that's a first order approximation and that in reality as VDS increases beyond the overdrive voltage, there is a phenomenon known as channel length modulation that occurs. Under these, those circumstances, each of these two equations is modified by a term equal to 1 plus lambda times VDS.